Hey everyone, welcome back to Anita's Joint, hashtag send the joint, where every day is payday, baby. And you're tuned in to another esoteric football commentary with your girl, Anita Flying High. And we're going to be watching um, Gotham versus Chicago today. Um, yeah, shout out to everyone, shout out to the whole soul group. We're waiting, um, waiting on the kickoff. Got the Twitch chat here, I'm about to share everything in the Discord. So all is well. Uh, I'm about to be in here in just a second. Got some NWSL. It's always good to see. Yeah, yeah. Sky Blue. I mean, uh, it's uh, Chicago versus Gotham. That's right. Let's go. Hopefully it's a good game. I think it's going to be a good game. Um, yesterday, we know Houston. The Houston wasn't able to take that. Houston wasn't able to get the W, but it's all right. Hope everyone's been doing well. Let me see some real quick. Brandon. Banners. My bad, y'all. Let me check. Oh, I missed you right here. <laughs> Even though Dash aren't playing, you could. That's how you check it out. All right, so number two, Gotham. Goddamn, with Portland getting that done last night, nah, they're putting a little bit more lead. But uh, Gotham, Chicago have seventeen, and Gotham have sixteen. So uh, whoever wins this one is gonna bring themselves closer to, um, you know, of course. Portland Thorns. We all good. And uh, I think I'm gonna have to. Where's my other move? All right. I'll just retweet this real quick on Twitter. I'm pretty sure. Sports. Okay. Sports. All right. Got two matches today. Mm -hmm. Let me, uh, oh, yeah. No commercials. What's going on here? Are we live? What, what, what's going on, Pear? Oh. Let me see. Why is it saying, oh, why is it saying this is not available? Why is it saying it's not available? It's weird. What? Hold on. Yo, I'm live. I mean, I'm still live on Twitter and, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I'm live on, uh, wow.
Why? Wow. Wow. Twitter, Twitter is now in. It, Twitter is now blocking my my lives. My lives that I've been going live on Twitter, just the football matches. And the first one, in the first one, I haven't even done any audio like that. So now Twitter has now blocked me on. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Twitter. Twitter has now blocked your girl from. Uh, I'm live on Periscope, but it's showing on the youth on Twitter that my uh, my stream is not available. Well, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm back. About to say what the fuck? Don't be put. Don't be playing like cause. There's no reason for my po- my my broadcast not to be available. Cause it said when I re- they I refreshed it. I had to refresh it because now I'm live. I'm live right here. Let me, let me just unpin this. Um, unpin from profile. And let me pin the one that I am live on. Shout out to everyone that's getting the tune in. Um, I said um, I uh, hope y'all having a good Sunday. I'm enjoying myself today. Uh. Look, I'm gonna continue. Look, 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 the more I was saying, like everybody's gonna, you, you, most people know who the fuck I am. You know what I'm saying, Shadow Government know who I am. You know what I'm saying? They don't know who Anita Flying High is, whether they like it or not. Whether you, like, whether people like it or not, people gonna know who I am. You ain't gotta like me, but you gonna know me. They be like, oh man, let's say like everybody like know LeBron. Everybody not may not like LeBron, but everybody know LeBron. You know what I'm saying? But I don't play basketball like that. I play professionally. But um, anyways, shout out to everyone. We ain't even talking about LeBron. We I might be uh I, if you follow me on Instagram, uh I posted a picture. Uh LeBron's uh well I, as we all know, LeBron, he has uh, a lot of rituals and spells based upon his numerology. They practice on him practice with him. And now a WNBA player has accused him of sex trafficking and stealing money from her. Candace Pondexter. So, um, you know, uh, unfortunately, I, I, I believe it. I mean, I mean, uh, she don't really have to. She's in the same line of field that he's in. So she's shaking the hands that he's shaking. She may not be making the same amount of money, but she knows what doors LeBron was going through to be able to do to be able to. LeBron has a school. You know what I'm saying? Well, how do you have to go about? How do you have to go about ways to get in your school? You know what I'm saying? In this matrix system. So, uh, and we already know, but I don't want to want to give them too give them too much attention. Um, the game has kicked off here uh, versus Chicago and Washington. But I'm just gonna uh, retweet this real quick. But first, I gotta go on the NWSL website just to see um, what their hashtags are. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? And I started to notice the less hashtags you put, I guess the more people might engage with it. The more hashtag you push, they feel like people are, I think people are thinking like, oh, you're like, oh, you're trying to get more attraction. It, it, it's just, it, it does it matter? But I'm starting to see like, I just put maybe one or two hashtags. A lot more people come and uh, click on the video. So I'm just going to, I'm not going to be like putting so many hashtags. So I just, I just throwing that out there for everyone. Um, and W so real quick. Let's see. Uh oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Got them. Uh Chicago and got them. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, so it's back to back matches. Yeah, Chicago. Yo, I don't even get to see the lineups. Like that. Okay, here it is. Hashtag NY, NJ, NJ, NY versus Chicago. Okay, so that's the hashtag that they're using. Okay. Hey. Hey, you remember when we were talking shit about how many, like, lack of female coaches there are? I'm telling you now, they're just... And, and you know, another thing as well, I swear, they watching me as well because not only did I make the statement... When it came to the USA Women's National Team, about how we know all about their legends, right? We know all about their legends in America. But some of these European teams, they ain't, they ain't never met the players that put on the the kit the first time, the pioneers. And so, if you go on Barca's Barcelona's um, uh, Twitter, they ended up meeting the first players um, uh, that played for Barca, right? And I was like. 
it's about time. Like, how long did it have to take them to fucking meet the players that 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 put the boxer shirt on for the first time? And so, um, they I guess they listening. And that's how, it, it should. You should always. It's like you should always. We should always be grateful for those that came before us, the ones that the pioneers, the ones that that had to stand in front of the crowd because there is no example. There is no example uh, of being a professional football player uh, in their sport. There was no example of them. And so they they watched me for sure. And I'm really, really happy. The Barcelona female players, they got to meet the first the first women that, um, that got to play for Barca and uh, help more clubs follow this um, because it is important to give the flowers to the players and to the to the women and any players to the to the to the game that we appreciate you uh and we we're grateful for you and uh, it's just the that's that's just principles and virtues that's a principle and virtue that that excuse me that's a godly principle and virtue that we should that should always been here like they just be bringing shit they just be trying to uh they, they've got us all flunked out you already know they got us flunked out when it comes to the certain things that we do but we should always be giving uh, appreciation to those that are that have done the work uh, before us. But uh, and so, like I said, Barcelona. You can check out Barcelona's Twitter page. They did that. And then also, oh, what else I was gonna say, man. Um, ah, man. There's something else. I had something else. Let me retweet this real quick. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, when I was talking about the lack of female female managers in NWSL, right? Like first the beginning of the season, we only had there was only one, and that was Gotham's manager. And now we're getting a lot. We're now we're gonna have Miss Casey Stoney here. It looks like uh, the Orlando manager that has left a new girl named Becky Becky Bur Burling She's gonna and then also with that we got uh uh Laura Harvey coming back. So it was like four or three women coming back. I'm telling you, they listening to your girl because I I mean. All I'm doing is spitting facts. I'm a Gemini. I'm going to give you the truth, real shit. And if you don't like it, oh, well, you must not like the truth. But, um, you know, they, 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 remember, they, they, they be, they be watching us. They be watching us. They be, they be watching us because they want to know where our psyche is. They want to know, oh, what's she talking about her psyche? Oh, oh. Because they, they study the human psyche. So they want to know how we think because that's how they practice their witchcraft on us, right? And so, um, it's just like um, this is how they run the world, but um, I'm really happy. Uh, it's about time. I'm not gonna give them any flowers. They should have been already doing this, but I'm just saying. I see, I see y'all. I see y'all are listening. I see y'all are trying to change the world. I see, but it needs to be a lot, lot better. You know what I'm saying? Like we ain't gonna, we ain't gonna put our, we ain't gonna put our break, our gas on the brakes yet until. Fuck, you know, we people ain't got to protest in the streets for no more lockdowns. You know what I'm saying? We're still going to continue to speak our truth on all these platforms. Fuck y'all, you know, and if you censor us, we'll find another way to speak. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> you, ain't gonna, you can't stop the whole goddamn world. There's 7 billion people here in, the, in this bitch. You know what I'm saying? There's 7 billion people walking the fucking planet Earth. Quote, unquote, that's what they say. You know what I'm saying? You just got to be careful. Uh-huh. Let me see. Uh, let me just retweet this. Um, yeah, Houston and Portland. Man, don't even get me started. Houston. I wish Houston won, but uh, yeah. Copy. Copy. Um, and there's one more I need to copy. Hold on. There's one more. Uh, who's playing Louisville? That's right, Louisville. Louisville. I was like, who else is playing Louisville? I guess they haven't had that. They haven't got a hashtag yet. Oh, it's run with us. Hashtag run with us. Okay, here it is. Hashtag run with us. Hashtag Louisville versus Washington. Okay. 
So we're gonna copy that as well. So I got my hashtags. Now we're just going to retweet this. Oh, wow. Dexter returns? What the fuck? What's up with them bringing old shit? Look, this all they can do is bring back old shit. What the fuck? That's some weird shit. And also, Team USA, Team USA, the men, the basketball team, they lost. Um... Team USA men lost today. Oh shit, hold on, hold on. Undo retreat tweet. Cool. And I was uh, surprised. And there's one more. Hold on, hold on. All right, all right. And I'll just put NWSL. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. That I, I retweeted. I'm all good. I'm all Gucci. I put back on my my good sounds. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Mm. Now Pew. Now Pew. <laughs> All right, we got we got. Gotham are in the black and Chicago are in the red. If you're watching on the I don't think anyone's on the Discord. Nah, I don't think it, it, it doesn't matter. I still stream it. People eventually will oh, we'll hop on here. And if not, oh well. I mean, I, I, I really don't care. It's okay. It's just here for people that do want to. You know what I'm saying? Uh, wait, let me get back in here. Everybody's talking about, um, own goals. But yeah, I shared, I shared on my, uh, I'm going to have to start, go. I'm going to have to start a, cause there's a Telegram channel that I'll be tuned into and they'll be showing us some really good stuff. I'm going to have to start going live on Twitter and showing y'all so we can get out there more. Still in, boss still in. And Gotham has been doing well. I think Gotham's pretty good. It's AKA Sky, no longer Sky Blue. But uh, overall, I think all the teams are fairly even. I feel like Portland, for some reason, they're still able to you know get these Ws. Here comes Sky Blue. Oh. 
Quick restart. Forgot them. My new is going to be the player I'm looking for. Um, of course, the Nigerian striker. She's been able to score her. Margaret Purse, as well as uh, who else is there? We got the Paige Monahan. My tea's done. I guess if they have a water break, I'll, I'll be able to pour my tea. I guess I got water and Gatorade right now. He was trying to find Kaylee a Watt, but good strike, good save. Nadia Dadam, is, is she playing for Racing Louisville? Racing Louisville went and got some uh, international players abroad as well. And then now, and then now, every time I I try to Google the NWSL, usually on Google, they had the. Uh, let me see. Let me see if it works. Usually on Google, they had it where it was like NWSL, and you could see what's like live. And then you can look at the lineups, and it was like a whole screen where, like, it was just like the lineups of how their formation. And you could just look on it and, and not have to, like. Let me see. It was like it was like a function that happened in Google. Now it's like Google did updated their fucking settings. Let me try it again. All I had to do was Google NWSL schedule, and then it would pop up. And now. Or end up with some matches and a little tab, like a little sports tab, would top up, top up, will pop up, and uh, I would be able to. to see the lineups, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and, um... <laughs> yeah, let me see. Google Sports. You got a soccer tab. Uh, uh, I got it on sports on the soccer tab. It says Trump says woke politics contribute to USA's women's soccer upset at, at Olympics. Uh, shout out to Trump. Trump is a um, uh, well. I think I don't think he's a pedophile like Joe Biden. And then um, he's a Gemini as well. So, you know, he, he, he's already kind of, he's already got a W in my book. Um, but um, overall, like the presidents, I mean, I don't know when America is going to stop voting for presidents or us as people are going to stop voting for presidents. It's like this shit hasn't worked. And, and um, you know, and then the election was rigged, right? Crazy. Yeah, I can't seem to find, uh, I'm saying Harry Kane's going to go to Man City. What is this? Oh, I got 300, uh, channel points.
But I guess Chicago's going to be really happy that Julie Ertz is playing again. And so when they, when they do come back, she'll be all right. And like, um, shit, hopefully USA don't get some, get sent home early. It's going to be some crazy shit if they do. But I, um, I don't, I got faith in them. We got, um, I think they play in like two more days. I think that they play on the 27th, the Olympic games again. And, uh, that's the NWSL action the 31st because the tournament's supposed to end August 5th, so it's going to be like shoo, 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 shoo. fast. And I'm, I'm really happy about that. So we, we can be back at the Houston Dash matches, you know what I'm saying? Be able to uh, see how Houston finish out the season. And then, of course, we're going to be following, following City. Following City as a Kick off their campaign, 2021-2022 campaign. Hopefully someone can beat Chelsea this year. Or next year, I mean. But, um... The, the chat seems pretty chill right now on Twitch. Let me see how many people are here. Uh, 2.5. It says 2.5 are watching. Shout out to y'all who's watching your girl on Anita Flying High channel and Anita's joint Twitch. You are appreciated, like always. Like always and always. Yeah. I turned off my sound. And the sun is like it's officially a it's officially Leo season. The sun is in Leo, so things are like gonna be like a lot more explosive. Hence, like we've seen all the protests that have kicked off. Like there's been protests, more protests everywhere. Like the one I shared on Twitter, um one I shared on Twitter was in Paris and in London. And then there's been protests going on in uh in uh, Sacramento, California, and, and and lots of many other locations, uh, a lot of the play, a lot of the countries overseas, I mean, overseas, um, abroad, um, based upon the images that I've seen in the Telegram, you know, people are waking up. People don't want any lockdowns, uh, which is really good, and we should continue to speak. We should continue to come outside. Like, what are they gonna do? It is crazy because Australia. Shout out to all the Australian people. If you're in Australia, I mean. They've had it the toughest that I've seen. I just seen some. I seen some images of the, you know, the police, you know, whooping on people. It's crazy, y'all. Like this is how they have us. They have the citizens. They have each other. Have each other. Have, have us fighting each other. And the police are like, listen, I don't. Are are y'all? Who are you, you? Luckily in Australia, they ain't just pulling out their gun and popping people. Hopefully, that I haven't seen, but. They're still tying three, four, five, six cops on one person. And it's just like these images. It's like, damn, like, what are you, what are you upset for? What are you fighting? What, what are you tying this person down for? Oh, we're, 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 we're out here. They're out there speaking for their freedom, not wanting any lockdowns. Australia has had the toughest ones because they don't have any guns. The people gave their guns up. I don't know why, why they did that. Whoever... Australia, every every country gets a certain walk to sleep, and um, and, and uh, the people. Also, I seen in Toronto, Canada, people. I have to show y'all. Oh goodness, because it was like I was like, oh, like this is this is. We're in some powerful times, some revolutionary times. It's not like this hasn't happened before. It's just the first time I'm being oh, that I'm being able to see this actually on. Uh, platforms um, back in like in the history books you know we hear about the meetings and stuff like that but we're actually seeing it live in action people take you to the streets people um, you know calling out for things uh, let me find let me get up in here let me get up in here real quick because it, it's Leo season it's Leo season it's the Sun Leo is the Sun Leo's gonna shine on everything you know what I'm saying it's gonna shine on so much. 
and we have to wake up we have to wake up as a as a, as a people that are walking this planet we gotta wake up and it's inevitable it's inevitable for us to do it and um you know we gotta continue to reach one teach one uh let me see right here let me see let me see, let me see. yeah yeah today this was this is what i seen yesterday well this was what was put in the awakening telegram um this was in toronto you see uh i'll show y'all real quick i'm gonna show the camera real quick i don't know it's kind of it's gonna be a little blurry turn it up real quick Uh, and you know, like it just gave me one me, me that's just one of them. So I, I recommend y'all, y'all, um. That's just one. This was in Toronto, Canada. These are some images. Some people on t TikTok that they're recording. The people of Toronto taking to the streets. And, you know, we got the Olympics going on. So, you know, it, 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 you know that's, a, that's a distraction. But, of course, you girl, I'm going to use everything to my advantage to be able to uh, show y'all. Uh, you know, just to hear the people chanting for freedom. Like, what world do we live in when we got to do that? You know what I'm saying? What world do we live in when when, when this is, you know? And uh, we're in some some great, some great times. Um, and I'm just so grateful to be a part of the awakening. You know what I'm saying? Uh, as we all are together in this fight. Uh, for, our, for our right, for the right to just breathe. For the right to do, you know, to do the things that we were doing. But we took it. We took for advantage we took for granted and then with we're in like there's new energies on the planet new energies it's time for everyone that's you know an individual to shine it's time for everyone to you know just be yourself um and be okay and being yourself because it's so much easier just to be yourself and just chill and um with with seeing this it just uh continues to inspire me to to know that the revolutionary act is always within and um you know it's gonna be the revolution of the oh well shout out to the peace dealer the peace dealer always says you know it's the revolution of the individual and me being individual you being individual y'all all the whole we out here in the in this field it's not collective but it is teamwork made the dream work but you know people will look when I get all, I got the fact, I only, like, we, I'm only 25, you know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? It's just so crazy just to, just to see, we're waking up in this world, like, like, literally waking up to the fuckery, to the fugazi fuck shit that has been taking place, taking place on the planet. And, um, man, it, 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 like, some days I'll be up and down, some days I'm just not feeling it, some day, you know, some days I'm just like, fuck, will it ever end? Will this ever end? And, um, you know, but I just remember like, fuck, this is an end all be all. This is an end all be all. And uh, whatever you're doing now, you've always been doing. So um, if you are, if you do tune into me, if you do happen to come across my channel, you continue to rock with me. You've always been a revolutionary. You've always been a pioneer. You've always been someone that spoke out from the crowd you've always been uh the one to light your own torch and walk that flame walk and carry your cross or carry your 
carry your your ankh with you. You know what I'm saying? You've always been that type of person. And, um, you know, it, we need examples of everything. We need examples of everything because uh, without examples, you know what I'm saying? It just shows people you can, you can do anything. You can be anything in this world um, if there's equal opportunity and there's no witchcrafts and and spells and and indoctrinations being put up and put into our minds right you can do anything uh, and you know there's plenty like i told you before there's plenty of motivational speakers out here in this bitch but uh i'm trying to get away from the motivational uh, uh, uh motivational topics or like this but you know me being me being a uh um in a uh, me being in this body, being a female body, in a female body, I feel like, well, I'm a natural healer. So I, I, I think I say that me motivation. I feel it's it's more healing. I feel like I, I just bring a lot more healing. I put a lot more healing messages out there. Cause um, I had a a, a cosmic tune up with the peace dealer, and uh, he was like, uh, yeah, like uh, yeah, you're like a. a uh, the doubt ridder, or like a natural, you know, my smile is authentic. We all got, that's why I'm not saying like people that fix their teeth, um, you know, it makes them, cause I was just, I remember, I don't remember, yeah, people that fix their teeth, not, not, no, no, no discredit to people that fix their teeth. Shit, hey, you got the money to fix your teeth, go ahead and fix your teeth. Um, I'll probably keep my teeth the same. Let's see. Yeah, I'll probably keep my... Well, you can't really see my teeth. I got the uh, the, the ring light on like that. But, uh, um, you know, our teeth are unique. Uniquely built. I ain't nobody got perfect teeth. I don't even know how these motherfuckers be born with perfect teeth. Like, where they do that at? Like, what? what? How do you have, like, your, your teeth perfectly aligned and shit? Like, what? What the fuck? But, um... Uh, that'd be funny. Some of the shit I be seeing. But, uh... Shoot, is there a water break yet? Because I swear. You got a water break? What's going on here? Oh, yeah, it is a water break. Hold on. Tea break. I'll be right back. We got a tea break. Alright. Let me see. <clears throat> I miss nothing. We back. Got the tea. Now Pew again. Drawing some defenders. Damn, how did she miss that? Yeah. Let me see this again. Now P cross the ball in. Kalia what? It's gotta be it's got that's gotta be in the back of the net, Kalia. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's gotta be in the back of the net. 
Shit. Let me, let me scoot up a little bit. There's 4,000 right now, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000, 3,000, 4,000 people watching right now on the Twitch. And, um, you know, when I, and also when I, uh, I think everyone's right now, we're all teaching each other, which is really, really good. We're all, when it, quote unquote, it's like building guilt, building like, um, building um uh an army like, like people that you know kind of think the same that rock with us and because uh, it is the aquarius energy it's about networking it's about networking And that went fast. It's already been 30 minutes. I'll show you some more. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, I'm gonna have to uh I think I'm gonna have to start sharing some more. Some, some more, some more, uh, not just football, some more, uh, things that I see on this Telegram channel. Because when you think about it, you can have a lecture. You can have a lecture on almost anything. Almost anything. You could have you could talk about almost anything in this planet and go and get lost into that thing. That that's that's majority of the world. Like you can talk about literally everything and get lost into it and have a whole three, four lecture about it. And then what's really crazy, it could be lo a complete lostness. Like I think uh when the you know what I'm saying? It can be complete lostness. People be like, what the fuck? Like, that flat earth theory? Like, people have lectures on that shit. And that's complete lostness. Complete lostness. Like, three, four hours of that shit, it's lostness. But, uh, let me get back into this this game. Let me see if, uh, um, I think it's fairly even. Both match it. Both, uh, teams right now. Gotham and, um, Gotham and Chicago. It's fairly even. I believe the Washington Racing Louisville match will be a little bit more. Um, might be a little bit more uh, back and forth based upon the young players. But um, Chicago, they're going to want to get a dub. I don't know where they're at right now. Let me see if I can figure out where they're at. Red Bull. Oh, it says New York. Okay, so they're in New York. All right, New York. They're in New York. Let me see some real quick. Uh, banners. Different banners up here. Listen to that one. And I've been rocking with the purple thing for some reason. Purple, I just seem to. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch up two as well because I was rocking with the orange a lot. You know what I'm saying? Purple. 
with the logo. You know what I mean? Shout out to Daria. She created my Anita's joint. She created my Anita Flying High logo that you see right there. Um, on Twitter and Twitch. And it's my YouTube thumbnail. Shout out to her. And got the it got the wings, the angel wings. Cause you know, I'll be flying high, y'all. Be telling me I'll be flying high. I'm gonna walk, I'm literally an angel. Uh Literally an angel. We're all angels or demons, just depending on how you roll out of bed. And, like, that's the thing people still refuse to accept. I think more people are starting to accept that. Like, some people are just straight up demonic. Some people are straight up demons. And uh, uh, people need to realize that, and I think people are. And just be okay. Just stay away from those people. You know what I'm saying? Let the de let the demons stay with the demons. You know what I mean? And um, you know, let them do what they want to do. But like right now, the people that I be tuning into, ooh, I was close. I think that's uh, Rachel Hill. Number five. Yeah. I think that's I think that's who that is. Morgan Groff. Morgan Bryant. Morgan Groff. Yeah. Rachel Hill. Yeah. Good shot for her. Just 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 uh you know, a little bit to the side. Good shot. Good effort. Good from uh here comes uh Margaret Purse. She has a Mononu in the box. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, good tackle. Dang, I feel like she should have just shot a little bit earlier. Maybe and then I think that's Big, big speed that's in the net for New Gotham. I think, I think, don't. But um, Chicago got a pretty good defense. Pretty good defense. I'm not too sure how hot it is out there. Kayla Sharples, we've seen Kayla Sharples score the goal last time. I think we tuned into uh, Chicago. All right, corner kick for Gotham. Let's see what they can do. Ooh, this over the head. Oh, offsides! Damn, that was crazy. Yeah, that is big speed. Yeah, oh, I'm starting to get to know some of these players by heart. Then let them know. Uh, get them, get them, get their names going. Ali Long. Who did she play for? I think she was I forgot who she was at the start of the season. But she's helped uh, she's helped them. Let me see something real quick. Now Pew creating the Bernardo. <laughs> Kevin, oh shit. Oh my goodness. Like we're all like, man, it's some it's some crazy stuff when it comes to the um
So then some of the things I'd be tuning into, they'd be like, um, they'd be in sync of what I'm feeling. We all kind of be feeling the same in a way, not the same, but we'd be set like, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, Sarah Gore, um, yeah, a lot of the athletes, they be doing that. Yeah. I, I hate it. I hate it. I'm like, I mean, I shouldn't, I should, because, you know, they say, don't, don't talk about what you hate, promote what you love. <laughs> but I do, I do. I'm just like, what are y'all viewing for? I don't, they don't, I, they don't, they didn't practice witchcraft on. Um... They, they got practice witchcraft on, plain and simple. And uh, cause I look at, and I look in uh, some of the Houston Dash players, they have it like, I, I kind of look at some of their, um, I go on some of their Twitters and they'll have that, that pinned, like them kneeling and I'm like, oh my gosh. If only they really knew. And here's the thing. No one's telling them this. And if they don't come across your girl's page, if they don't come across my Twitter, if they don't come across my website, they, don't, they won't know. And because the people that are around them, they've been practiced witchcraft on as well. So they won't know that they're being used as pawns. Um, they, won't, they won't know that they're being used as pawns. Until someone like actually tells them the truth. And then it takes them to want to believe it or not. They may continue to be like, no, I'm still Black Lives Matter. And I really don't care. And then let, let the dead bury the dead. Doesn't make them a bad person. It doesn't make them a bad person. It just, they, they don't want to see the reality of this thing. They don't want to, because I don't know what the fuck Black Lives Matter has done for me. And I'm quote unquote, what they say black. They, I don't know what Black Lives Matter has done for me. So, uh, but th that's how they get used. And, and it's, it's sad to see. But um, we just hope that they come across someone that's aware uh, of how they, how they get puppeteered, how they get played on the string and you know, we all, we have to continue to learn and let Black Lives Matter be, it's like, it's not, there's, you don't see, it's just, you don't see White Lives Matter or we see Police Lives Matter and we don't, like, and then they came and they're like, oh, Asian Lives Matter and all this extra stuff. So, all, well, first of all, 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 all our lives matter in this bitch. And, and then, because when you, when you jump down the, the racist, the racist, um, freak, like, when you start to talk about all the race stuff, you start getting drug into a space where it's about separatism and, and you don't want to be in that space when we're all walking the same planet together. You don't want to be in that separation energy because they already have us separated too, too much. So when we start going down that rabbit hole, um, it's more separatism and we're supposed to be here for everyone. We're supposed to love it, not, you know, want to love everyone or appreciate everyone. And, um, the people that quote unquote um black and, and stuff like that, they they express a lot of the separatism energy. And that's not an energy I want to attach to myself to. I that I want that shit to stay far away from me. Like stay clear from me. Because then you'll they'll, they'll probably present certain things to me that, oh, I'm required to do certain things based upon the way I look. I'm not required to do shit. And who told you I was black, bitch? I told you I'm French. I'm French. And I don't speak French, though. I'm, 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 I'm Canadian, but I don't speak, you know, well, Canadian speak English. I'm Italian. I don't speak, I don't speak Italian. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm Spanish. I don't, well, I'm learning how to speak Spanish. You know what I'm saying? And I, I, I'm not, I mean, I don't know anything about Africa. So how, how are you going to tell me? And here's the thing about it. They try to tell us that we're from two different, ooh, go, who is this, Ali Long? All right. 
Holly Long has four for Gotham. Um, they try to tell me I'm from two different geographical locations. And then when we do like the DNA test, what the fuck does DNA even mean? Huh? They, if, how, what does DNA even mean if they say blood does it? If blood is if they say blood don't make you family. You know what I'm saying? Like what? Uh, what, what does that mean? Uh, good finish. Right before halftime. That's good. Yeah, but that that the Neil I I don't know who but Colin Kaepernick he. He, the story behind Colin Kaepernick that he, I heard, a Marine or ex-Marine or a Marine had told him to kneel if he wanted to show some and like show that he 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 was upset with all the the police brutality when it came to people that looked like me, and he was telling and, and it was during the national anthem to make a statement right and. Um, so and then it was crazy because most of the nfl owners are what they want to call quote unquote white caucasian whatever and you know it's still that slave master mentality uh they continue to uh put in front of our faces nigga we i'm not i mean we're not slaves but like when you think about it i mean a lot of people were all in masks you know what i'm saying a lot of people were act, you know, were still, you know, you know what I'm saying? Just, just fuck shit. But um, we just gotta separate from that energy. I don't, I don't, uh, don't call me anything. I'm not black, white, Puerto Rican, Mexican. Don't call me none of that stuff. Cause I'm none of that thing. I'm just my spirit in a body. I came out of the water, which is now called Texas, and uh, I just look like this. Um, but pretty much our, your spirit, it's like an accumulation, like I was accumulating things of the spirit. The stars are water, I'm a star, like a walking influence. Uh, yeah, but that kneeling shit needs to stop. I don't know how long they're going to continue to kneel. They might kneel for the rest of their lives, for all I know. Cause, <laughs> uh, but yeah, one nil, one nil. Uh, let me see. Let me see. I want. I can't share on my. I can't share right here. I can only share my. Uh, no. Let me see something real quick. Let me see something real quick. I'm gonna try to share the tele Telegram channel to. Yeah. Let's see, let's see, let's see. I need to share this or share. There it is. Alright, copy the link, so I'm gonna see if I can uh yeah I can share it with the stream so right
but I'll try to find a Well, that's the telegram channel you gotta click on that https that's the the awakening twenty. it's the awakening it's 24 7 of 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 intel and you pretty much you um you think for yourself it's just like a lot of uh of course the agendas the things that are happening on uh in different, different locations that's why it's so crazy you know we can watch this a soccer game that's going on in, in London, right? Because the uh, Euros for the men were in London, yet London's st straight up having protests outside, but they're not going to talk about it on the live streams of these matches that we tune into. You know, they're not going to talk about the chaos that's on the streets of London. Uh, but, uh, you know, other channels, I will. I mean, I'm like, uh, hmm. But it's a good channel to tune into so you can get some content just to see some images, see what's going on behind the scenes. They got so much disclosure stuff like, you know, we already know they ain't land on no moon. The, if people don't know, the moon is a reflection of this body of water that we're on. Uh, the moon is not, um, they can't land on the moon. <laughs> so that's this lie that they told us. They told us so many lies. Like, it's... it's crazy so it's just crazy it told us the lie and the truth at the same time you know like a picture could can mean a thousand words but they want us to see the picture in their way and be yet have that say a picture can mean a thousand but yet want us to see a picture in the same way But once I get back on YouTube, but I don't, I, I'm just, I'm gonna have to, go, I'm gonna have to meditate when it comes to this, because I know, I feel like I'm going on another path, uh, I feel like, um, I feel things are changing for me, so I just gotta go within and see what my next best step is, you know what I mean? But North Carolina versus Orlando Pride on Saturday? Damn, we gonna have some more matches on Saturday? Two matches on Saturday, three matches on Sunday. Of course, Houston play Gotham. We're gonna be tuning into them. Houston, Houston, of course. We'll be following them all season long. Got some tea and lemon. Got some tea and lemon. Like, um,. Let's see what else is going on in Telegram. Right now, like, um, yeah, I might have to. You see all the Canadian flag, I don't know if you can see
There's some images. Um, there's a lot of flooding going on. It says, uh, and it's so crazy, like I said, the fact that, um, especially because the Olympic Games are going on, and uh, they talked about there's people getting COVID out there in the Olympics, so, like, what type of pandemic are we in, right? Um... Damn. It says 130, 130 French towns are marching against ma macaroons against COVID passports. Cause that's what they want. It's already happened in Israel. You 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 have to. It's like a um, certificate of COVID nineteen could stand for certificate of vaccination, certificate of verification ID, or it could be creating our vision in detail, depending on how you look at it, if you're in fear or if you're in a, a love frequency. Um, but the people that are in fear will be having certificate of ID, certificate of verification ID, and uh, they will, everything will be digital for them. They'll, they'll be, I mean, they've already started. I think I've seen images in, um, was it Sweden? Or like there, you already can open your door with a chip underneath your skin. You can open doors. Because they're creating an AI system where they want to replace us, but still want us to be, you know, they want us to be, they want to create, they're creating artificial intelligence so we they can replace us. Um, and that's why we have a lot of, you know, the stores or you can check your own self out and stuff like that. And, um, there, um, I seen on the black balloons actually had a video of it. It was called a uh, portals, d dark portals, but because the AI is, is is like they're opening portals, like portals get opened, so entities, entities come in, entities that are not for the people, entities that don't really give a fuck about the people that walk this planet. Yeah, they can give they can give two fucks. That's why they kidnap the children and do all types of shit. They can give two fucks about how we feel. And so um with that, they um the AI that's how you know like when you log on to like certain things like YouTube, you got certain suggestions because they are they're they want to know your psyche, they want to know our psyche. And individually they want to be able to control us. They want to give us the jail cell key us lock ourselves in the jail cell and throw the key away and then us not knowing we're actually in a jail cell that's how they want us to think because it's so comfortable well i do got tv i do got internet i do got the system i do got all these things you know i'm not really in a jail cell you know what i'm saying i'm not really nothing's really going on but yes it is yes that's something there is but if you can't see it like that you know, you're, you're going to throw the key and lock yourself away. You know what I mean? You're going to throw the key and lock yourself away. So, uh, we can't always, we get, like, you know what I'm saying? It's not all about internet stuff. We still got to get outside and go connect with people. But it is hard nowadays because if, if you got it, I'm sorry, I'm not really going to fuck with you if you got a mask on. I'm, you know I mean, I, I don't really know who you are. Please talk to me without that on, please. And if you're afraid, don't talk to me at all. Stay your ass inside. Facts. I, I really don't know what else to tell you. Now, in certain states, they have to have it. Um, so it's it's different. It's different. Over here in Texas, they finally lifted the mandates, which was great. Because, you know, your girl had to fucking walk in. Like some of these stores, they weren't, they weren't uh, especially the big stores, the police were all posted outside. Uh, oh, you know, like fucking crazy times. But it's 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 summertime. They can't talk. They It's summertime now. They, the... the yeah, you either, you either you're you it's a ninety nine percent recovery rate. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's ninety nine percent recovery rate. Yeah. And you got some of the most unhealthiest people wearing masks and talking about you need to wear a mask for your health. Get the fuck out of here, man. Get the fuck out of here, man. Fuck up. And then you got the most healthiest people wearing masks. Some of these athletes. I'm like y'all the most healthiest niggas I've ever seen on TV. And y'all all, all sheeple, all afraid that you're gonna get sick. 
They don't, they're not afraid that they're going to get sick. They just have to do what they're told. They have to wear them. It's like, no, it throws no butts. They have to do it. And then they think they're doing okay because some of them say they got it. And, and you know, they've been rocked to sleep as well. But, um, but it's okay because we, we don't say we, we, all right, we continue to buy higher. I, I really don't, uh, you know, uh, it is what it is. Um, until they come across people like me, they will continue to be sheeple or continue to, you know, have to do what they're told until they all come together. We all come together and, and wake the fuck up, you know what I'm saying, collectively. And, and in the realm of sports, I don't know, it might take a little bit longer. This upon so much, so much ritual and spells have been done uh, in this realm, this matrix, this in period, not just in sports, but just period. Period, point blank. But we're in new times, new energies. So it's time to continue to do what you've been doing. Do yourself, you know what I'm saying? Be yourself. Be an individual. You don't really care and don't really care what anybody has to say about it. And, uh, you know, the we quote unquote, the universe always sends someone. You know what I'm saying? There's 7 billion people here. They all, it, all there's always going to be someone. There's always going to be someone. And that's what's great. Not just on the internet, but in physical as well. You know what I'm saying? But sometimes we got to go through things uh, alone in certain seasons. You know what I'm saying? Because sometimes, you know, you can't be around certain people. Um, because they be trying to uh, block. They be, uh, they, they don't have your best intentions, you know? They're not, they're not, they don't want to have your best intentions. They just want to, um, they there for the quote unquote, they there for the clout, for the clout, and nobody got time for that, we, we got, uh, we, we, we got to wake up, and we are, we are, and so, that's what I, I just share, I just share a lot of things on, that's what social media is for, just to share things that we find, and then have everyone else think for themselves, you know, and be social, some people, you know, I, it's so good. It's like, you know, you have the people that are want to rock with you will rock with you. And the people that don't, they'll leave. But I'll be wondering, like, I have people on my YouTube channel. Like, I've had three YouTube channels. But, like, people that haven't, like, that are, like, trolls, they just keep coming back to me. I'm like, listen, you're a troll. Why do you still fuck with me? And if you don't like what I have to say, why do you still fuck with me? Like, why do you, well, why do you... Why do you still come back? Like, it'd be weird, right? It'd be weird. It'd be weird. I think they just lost. Wandering stars. And so you just hope that they find themselves eventually. I mean, because here's the thing. I mean, you're eventually going to wake up. People are eventually going to wake up. It may take some eons, but eventually it's going to happen. You have to move on. You have to ascend. That's what's so great about, you know, you know, karma. People, like I had to do, I had to remember like, man, I kept doing things over and over and over again. I was seeing the same results. You know, that's the sign. That's crazy. Right. And so I eventually was like, you know, I need to, the only way you're going to change is if you stop doing this shit forever. Like I was like, damn, is that a sacrifice that I'm willing to make? Yeah, if you want shit to change. Yeah. So I was like, well, fuck, I gotta stop doing this. I gotta stop doing this. And, um, and, um, it, it's working out for me. It's working out because I'm understanding. And together we're all understanding because there's not just me on the internet. There's a lot more people that have been walking this path longer than I have. I just started my journey. So I just woke up to myself. So there's a lot more people that have been on this journey of awakening way longer than I have. And uh, I'm grateful for them because they have taught me so much. And uh, and I feel like <clears throat> I've, especially because the, with, with the energies being in Aquarius, things are speeding up. And so we're like getting so much information so much faster uh, that our mind, our body hasn't caught up yet. Our body will catch up, but our mind is already there, like in the future. But our reality 
it's still in this we're still seeing this reality and we have to get through hell to get to heaven we have to destroy everything to get to where we need to be and so that's what we're doing and that's what we'll take it, i think it, we'll see 2023 2020 2020 um 2024 2025 we have to get through this through the disclosure do all the the, the bullshit that we that's been going on the planet. We have to get through it collectively together. Uh, and then how we figure, how we manage with that individually, we're gonna go about it and, uh, you know, the best way we can, you know what I'm saying? To do it the best way you can as you being the individual, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I can only tell you what helped me. I can only tell you what helped me and has helped me, you know, uh, wake up and, and, uh, and just, become better for myself, you know? Well, pretty much, well, I have to say, pretty much I, I started to do the things that made me have, make, make me have fun. I started to do the things that are, are tuned into the things that I wanted to do. Uh, and uh, then the things that I was kind of a little, you know, man, back then a little shaky, scary about, I started to, day by day, start to do the thing, start to do the things that kind of scared me, you know? I was like, well, let me do this. Let me do that. Like, besides, like, going to the gym. I really didn't like like going to the gym. I mean, I was a little insecure about that. But then your girl was like, fuck it. Let me start going to the gym. And then, bam, like, I, I, I went to the gym here three or four times a week. That was, that may be something minute. That means, like, all people are like, oh, you're afraid to go to the gym. Hey, that was an insecurity of mine. You may not have an insecurity like that. But that was one of my things I was insecure about. Um... And so then I started like, fuck it, I'm just going to go to the gym and just do that. Of course, speaking about um, what I go, what goes on in my life, that's kind of scary. Some people don't really want to talk about their personal life. And we, we, we shouldn't really talk about too much about our personal life. But then again, I see people flunked out on the internet all the time talking about their personal shit. And they got people like, oh, yeah, we fuck with you, we resonate. And I'm like, well, fuck, you know, I'm going to have to start talking about my shit too. Because uh, I, I flunked out stuff that I go through as well. I got some stuff I need to tell you as well. So people can more resonate with me and like, oh, because I'm not perfect. What the fuck? I'm not perfect. We are, that's a cliche. We're not perfect. And I got insecurities too. But I got to deal with them internally and heal them. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and and not project on people and, and understand that I got, I got things I need to fix within myself. And... Um, Every day is a healing process for me. Every day, every day, every day, every day, I continue to heal myself. And then, you know, the fact that we're trying to heal ourselves, we're going to attract people that might are damaged, yeah? And, and based upon, you know, whatever they got going on, and we got to be careful for them not to bring their damaged individual self over here based upon us already being healed, you know what I'm saying? Or... or healing ourselves not wanting to uh, go down that same path of self-destruction you know what i'm saying but um that's why mass meditations are really good um so if, uh, when a lot when a lot of people come together at once and we put positive energy and positive intentions and we do rituals uh ceremonies together it makes it more powerful because we have good intentions and then, um, you know, we put it out, we give it to the universe and the universe, come, uh, we, we give out good energy, it's going to come back. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's going to come back. And then um, it's all about, uh, you know, <clears throat> making sure we stay aware. We can't let them rock us back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? Can't, and it's not going to happen. There's too many people aware on the internet for us to go back to sleep. You know what I'm saying? And I'd be damned if I go back to sleep. Might as well fucking kill me now. I was like, I'd be damned if I go back to sleep to this matrix. To see, not to see, because you, you, to see, to see how, uh, I don't know. Uh, 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 nope. 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 And that's what's so weird, because like when I was tuning into Olympic Games, it was like, man, it's just a little soccer game, you know? It just it just has the title of Olympic Games, and they get medals at the end. You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, man, you know, because things are kind of like, it's not as important. 
because there's so many other things that are going on in the planet, right? So, but for me, there's to be able to travel to different locations, to see different stadiums, to be able to meet the people, to be able to enjoy football. That was something that I had vision for myself. Like, damn, that'd be really nice to experience. You know, that'd be something that I would enjoy experiencing, um, you know, different, different uh, places when it comes to football, you know what I'm saying? Being in the stadiums, like, I could be in the stadium right now, but you know, on TV it's good too. But then again, what's what's in New York? I ain't never been to New York, um, you know what I'm saying? Being able just to travel. This is nice to see different venues, to see different things, to eat different food, to hear different people's stories, to experience, um, you know, life like we're supposed to, to be able to be free, you know, to do the things that we want to do not have to worry about bills or like how we're going to have a roof over our head or shit like that you know the fact that we have to worry about all this shit is fucking ludicrous it's fucking ludicrous the fact there's there's mcdonald's on every corner yet like i don't know when they're going to make the minimum wage 15 bucks but we'll see you know because i was i was working at mcdonald's for like 10 bucks 11 bucks not even not even 11 like 10 dollars Ten dollars. I was doing taxes for ten dollars. I was a tax preparer for ten dollars. They underappreciated underappreciated me. I was literally doing taxes. Nigga, I was getting your stimulus check for ten dollars. Ten dollars. Ten dollars. What the fuck is ten dollars? And I'm doing taxes. Huh? Huh? What the fuck? This fucking world bullshit, you know what I'm saying? This, this, and so, you when you think about it, you think about it, it's like, man, if, if, if my job apparently is not important, I'm only valued at $10. Motherfuckers, fuck y'all. That's why, shit, I'm not getting paid to talk about football. I'm not getting paid on Twitch. I'm not getting paid on Twitter. I'm not getting paid on Periscope. I'm just doing this because I want to. Because I'm just like, fuck it, I'm the currency, bitch. You know what I'm saying? I'm the currency. My energy is the currency. I was like, it, I, I value myself a lot more, and I'm not going to sit behind a desk and they have me pay me $10, and I'm listening to people's flunked out situations based upon them trying to get, you know what, people people be trying to come and do some crazy shit at the tax office. I'd be like, what the fuck? Are you trying to do this and that? I'm like, oh my God. Like, and then you, and then, and then once you become a tax preparer, you start to learn the loopity loop 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 systems that they do to fuck over the people in your taxes. And it's like, man, where's all our tax money going to? They can't even give us another stimulus check. What the fuck is twelve hundred dollars going to do? What the fuck is six hundred dollars going to do? I'm single. I ain't got no babies. So what the fuck is six hundred dollars going to do for me, huh? That's not even my rent, bitch. That's not my rent. That's not my rent. Six hundred dollars is not my rent. You know what I'm saying? The cost of living is not enough for these these baby stimulus checks. But I was appreciative because this is our tax money that we're getting back. They talk about it's all our tax money. Then you start flooding out our tax. You know how much money they've been taking from us? Oh my god! And if and it's just bullshit, you know what I'm saying? It's just bullshit when you when you see all the shit. Like when you work in the corporations, when you work in uh, uh, these corporations, like and so. And so Jackson Hewitt, I worked with Jackson Hewitt. Jackson Hewitt was my only like corporate job, or not even corporate. I don't even know what we call corporate, but it was my only like high value job, me being a tax preparer. So I did taxes. I, people bring their W-2s in, you know, when you get your check, your pay stubs, and I just type it in the computer for $10. I was getting, like, I think I was a manager at Sonic. I was getting more money at Sonic than, than me doing taxes. How the fuck? How the fuck does that happen? Huh? How the fuck does that happen? How was I getting paid more at Sonic than than being a fucking tax preparer, a, a high value job, a de a job behind the desk? But I'm in the kitchen, fucking making burgers. I'm in the kitchen, you know, taking orders and, and making drinks for 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 like eleven bucks, for twelve bucks. Huh? That don't make no fucking sense. This world's flunked out. The world's flunked out. So that's why I mean, we gotta just. Uh, you know, f figure out how to make it. But really, money is becoming like, what is the money now, I'm saying? <laughs> For real. That's what I'm telling you, like, stimulus and... 
I'm saying, I'm telling you nowadays, and if they start giving out, uh, like, because they want to have it where it's like, we're all going to be receiving checks. We're all going to be receiving checks, right? I feel like that's coming soon. Like, we're all going to be getting paid, like, monthly, like, a monthly uh, money, right? Like, every, every month, we got, like, so, because that's why I feel like that's coming. And so, like, you know, unemployment, people really won't, they're, they just want to make sure we're replaced, but they want us inside so they can make the sky red. Because they want to bring Mars down here. They want to toxify the planet Earth so we can't go outside and breathe the air. So that's why I make sure you're going outside and breathing in that good-ass prana, baby. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but yeah, hell yeah, man, I got, man, I, I'm going to sign up for everything in this bitch. Listen, I got, I got, I got EBT, you know, got my esoteric stimulus checks, you know what I'm saying? I, I, I did taxes, so I was for sure, I was like one of the first people that got all my stimulus I had no problem getting my stimulus checks because I did tax work. You know what I'm saying? So that's the good thing about it. But, you know, people, every person's situation is all flunked out. And then they keep changing the tax laws. And I'm just like, you know, fuck all this shit. This is extra work. And I'm getting $10? No, nah, y'all need to pay me more. I need some more funds. I need some more money. You need to pay me more. Because then, you know, since I'm spiritual, I got people coming in here random ass. Just like, it's, it's a little more different when you're serving food than when you're helping people with their taxes. People are a little bit more extra sensitive when it comes to their money. But here's the thing. I'm like, people, you better fucking learn this shit for your goddamn self. And then if not, you better go to some, because I'm still, I've only done taxes for like two years. They're not teaching us how to be, how to be good and how to be, you know, how, I don't have like a, a, someone over me, like teaching me, okay, this is, this is it. We're not actually trained. You ever, like, we're more trained. I, I trained people better at Sonic and McDonald's and Whataburger than I got trained doing fucking taxes. So you, you could just, this just flunked out. That's just how it is. I, I, you know what I'm saying? Like I didn't have the proper training to do taxes. It was, it was modules in this bitch. At least when you, you know, you. It's not hard to make burgers, but you know, you learn the burgers stuff like that. But doing taxes, that's, that's something else. You know, you need some extra. And then your girl was alone at Walmart doing like looking at these things like, damn, I'm supposed to do this on something. Like, what the fuck? They got skyscrapers. So I'm like, oh man, you know what I'm saying? And, but you know, it, it, it because ah. Uh, you gotta continue to learn, but I think once you get it down, you're pretty good. But I, I, I would say I'm, 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 I'm at, I'm like still learning taxes, so I'm not an expert, and 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 I don't get paid like an expert. So don't act, don't don't come to me like I'm an expert, bitch. I get paid, I'm getting less than fucking managers at Sonic, bitch. Don't come to me, don't come to me like I'm a fucking expert, bitch. I just happened to go to school, and they just so happened to fucking come to the school. That's the only reason I happen to get a tax repair job, bitch. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and some people, and you can't if they, you tell them like that, they're like, oh, okay, well, they they still want to be like, oh, well, you know, no, bitch, you better learn this shit for yourself too, motherfucker. Learn this shit for yourself. Yo, you got some comp people be having complicated ass situations. I'm like, God damn, no shit, what complicated? Niggas be forgetting papers and shit. Niggas don't even have actual IDs. Fucking social security card. Man, don't come to don't come with that shit. You better go to somebody else that doesn't at home with your no ID ass, no social security number ass. Motherfucker, like get the fuck out of here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It just be, it just be. And so, so everybody that didn't get stimulus checks, it's because it's because they're not in the system. They're not in the matrix system. They don't have I didn't social security and all that stuff. And so, you know, I had a lot of people that came to the store. It's like, well, well am I going to get one? Well, nigga, do you have anything that even quote-unquote said you had a job ever? You know what I'm saying? Like, did you have a pay stuff, nigga? Do you not file taxes? Because if you don't file taxes, you ain't getting shit. It's plain and simple. So, and then the IRS had it, like, on the portal here in America. Like, you could log in and uh, create, like, a website. I mean, create, like, your own... Uh, link your your credit card number or link a credit card to be able to get the stimulus check and then they remove that shit so if you didn't do it the first time you're flunked out and then people want to come in well i don't really have a job but i want to get a stimulus check oh you're fucking fucking out a lot motherfucker it's not my fault you didn't you don't want to participate in society and now the fact that the people that did participate in society are getting checks it's not your fault it's not my fault either it's just the hand that we're dealt 
I don't know what else to tell you. And then they want to cast stones and get mad at you, bitch. I'm, 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 I'm here just like you, motherfucker. I'm here just like you. And this is what people don't be understanding. Like, nigga, I'm walking the fucking, I'm on earth just like you, bitch. You know what I'm saying? But, for real, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm going to uh, be uh, uh, the simple life, you know what I'm saying? But I still go out and do the things that I want to do well, with the money that I do get, and I'm grateful for that. You know, I got to experience some things I've never experienced before, you know what I'm saying? I've got to do some things that people are like, oh, I do that every day. Well, fucking good thing for you. I I'm working on that too, motherfucker. I'm working on doing the things that you do every day as well. You know what I'm saying? I I'm working on it, all right? And, and they, you know, I'm going to continue to have faith in my goddamn self to be able to do the things that I would like to fucking do. You know what I'm saying? And so, you know, it, 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 we, it's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? Gods and goddesses, they see they see us down here like, oh, I want to I wanna go help you. I want to go help you. Oh, yeah. It's not like we need help. We're just like, hey, look, 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 look. You see me out here, you know, trying to uh, uh, help. Make a change. And and I've been, man, like, God, you don't have no idea. Like, I've been in some situations. And miraculously, everything worked out. Your girl's still here. Miraculously, things have worked out. You know what I'm saying? I've already been through the homeless stage of my awakening. So I've already been homeless before. So the fact that I overcame that, Everybody has a, I think not everybody, but most people that they've had a homeless journey, not everybody, so, but I've had that journey already, and, and so I've, able, I've been able to overcome that, which I'm really grateful for, um, and I've been able to, you know, leave from a different town, come to a new town, and been able to, you know, start a new life, so, uh, Though we all go through different phases in our life, we all got different stories, you know what I'm saying? But once I found faith, or once I, you know, I, re I, I realized that the universe was actually real, like there's actually something that's actually working in my favor, there's, 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 um, I call it the universe, um, people call it gods, you know, whatever, uh, however you, uh, talk to the, talk to the world, how you talk to yourself, your higher self, uh, yeah, they working with us. They working with us, and they love us. They protect us from all these entities that that wish to downfall against us. Um, but I've been in situations where I'm like, damn, I'm gonna get out of this shit. And time, 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 time, and time, and time, and time, and time, and time. I forget. The universe has shown me, yeah, I got you. What you talking about? Why was you? I was just testing you. I was just seeing how if you have faith. Damn, like, just like let me test you, like, man. Do you got faith in this situation? Do you got faith in this situation? Do you do you believe in yourself? And God only helps those who help themselves. So, so, are you doing things while you wait? Are you doing things while you figure out? Are you learning? What are you learning? Are you doing things to better your situation? Because they say, you know, you 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 can't, you know, you have to have a a, a the same mind that got you in a situation is not going to be the same mind that gets you out of the situation. You have to change the you have to change the way you think, right? To be able to get yourself out of the situations that you've been in, right? And so, of course, I was like, all right, well, meditate. What do I need to do? What do I need to fix? And so I got the answers within me. Go with go within, meditate, uh, heal. Go out and experience. Listen to other. Listen to other people that I appreciate and I feel like they have wisdom for me. You know what I'm saying? Listen to them and see what they say or say or even look at their. They have. They've had the same experiences that I'm going through currently at the moment and see how they overcame it. Like, all right, bet, bet. All right, all right. So I can do this and I can do that and and then bam. You know, all right. I got myself out of that situation. And the good thing about it is. You know, once you, you're able to do something the first time or get out of a situation the first time, you'll always be able to do it again. You know what I'm saying? And so that's the thing, like, uh, like people like that have gotten apartments and lost apartments. You can get it again because you got it the first time. You know what I'm saying? You got it the first time. And um, but people like to be gatekeepers and shit like that. People like to be in their ego and... Oh, I'm the only one that can tell you how to do this, and you need to come through me. And I'm, I'm, what the fuck? I hear that shit. Anyway, I got time for that.
go about it how you how you the best way you can. Go about it the best way you can. You know what I'm saying? And if you need help, ask for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help. But sometimes these niggas be like taking kudo points. Nigga, I asked you for help. And they want to hold it over your head. Oh, you asked me for help. Oh, you need me. Fuck you, bitch. Fuck you. Go down a hole. But, you know, that's ego talk. You know what I'm saying? Some people just be so innate. And nothing wrong with ego. We need the ego. Your ego protects you. But some people be really flunked out and lost in it. <laughs> and so, those are those egotistical motherfuckers. You're just like, man, nah, fuck you. You ain't never experienced shit in your life. You ain't never been in no hardship, bitch. You ain't never had nothing taken from you. And those are the same people that end up killing themselves because they just don't love themselves. It is what it is. People that never gone through shit... They don't really know, they'll never know what it's like to go through shit. Like, I've gone through shit. People that never gone through shit, they'll never know. People that always were given everything. And then there's nothing wrong with that either. But they just need to know. Bitch, don't try to come over here and talk about, oh, uh, oh, you need to, you ain't never gone, what have you, what? What's the, the worst thing that's ever happened to you? Well, someone can give me, give me my grant money or, oh, okay, oh, oh. Oh, okay, bitch. I wish I had someone that had stored up some grant money. I wish when I turned 18, I got like a whole bunch of money, bitch. Ah, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, some of these people that ain't never been through shit, you know what I'm saying? They all flunked out. They all flunked out. And they're the same ones on the internet talking about their life sucks. Bitch, get the fuck out of here. You and your fucking mansion. Get the fuck out of here. I don't want to hear that shit. <laughs> There's actual real people going out here going through shit. You know what I'm saying? That's why when the celebrities be crying, be like, bitch, shut the fuck up, nigga. You got like a trillion worth. You got trillions of dollars, and maybe you should go fucking uh uh do something with your life. You know what I'm saying? You got trillions of dollars, and you you complaining. Get the fuck out of here. What you complaining about, bitch? What the fuck y'all complaining about? I be looking at these niggas on TV like, y'all complaining? What are you complaining about? Y'all got everything, bitch. We 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 got we waiting on another stimulus check, bitch. We waiting for them food stamps to hit, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, uh, like these niggas. They and then they be making and then people really be feeling sorry for them. I'm like, get the fuck out of here. They're in a better situation than you are. Oh my god. Can you tell them, hey look, look, Snoop Dogg, Wiz Khalifa, all you celebrities, can y'all can y'all go ahead and give us some stimulus checks from y'all money? Can y'all go ahead and give us a piece of y'all pie? No, no, you ain't work as hard as I did. I okay, I understand. So why are you complaining, bitch? Fuck out of here. All right, well, we got um, got them, got a corner. I mean, got a set, got a um, got a, a penalty kick. Let's see if uh, Margaret Purse can convert. Let me see. Let me see. Ooh, nice finish. Go. Damn, got them. Let's go. Got them with uh, another goal. Nice. Goo. Nice. Nice. But, uh, yeah, you know, <laughs> it's all right. You know, we can smile and laugh about it um, because that's, that's nowadays. I'm like, I'm not going to get any. I'm not stressing out over shit. I'm too. I'm too. I didn't seen too much now to be stressed out. On some flunked out shit, you know what I'm saying? To be stressed out over shit that don't even matter, you know? So that's kind of how I'm correlating my life now. And understanding that taking it day by day, not to be stressed out too much based upon this matrix and based upon this system that we live in. Uh, and to keep it light, keep it cute, you know what I'm saying? And, and and just go out and experience and enjoy my goddamn self. And so luckily I live in, right now, I'm, 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 I like that I you know, live in a city. Uh, and I'm able to go downtown and, and, and see, you know, different events that they have. Like down here in San Antonio, they had a fiesta. And that was like a, a cool experience for me, uh, being that I lived in a small town that only had two high schools. So, uh, Oi, what's up? Howdy, Jose. Um, so I, I'm, I'm grateful for that. I'm able to still, you know, and they got the transit center. So, you know, I can just hop on the bus and take my trips, um, and uh, I'm able to go see certain uh, football games here as well. We got they got like a um, so I'm still able to go out and experience, you know, some things that I've never been able to experience before. 
Um, and uh, and I am just gonna be happy with what, what, what I have right now. And I know, cause and I have a uh, you know what quote unquote they got we got affirmations, and I've been having them ever since I like awakened. So I have them all around my house, like just to remind myself, like how great I am and how I'm the creator and 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 you know to be grateful. And so, with that being said, you know, um, I've been able to create here. Um, been able to start building a platform for myself to get my name out there so people can know who I am and just continue to do what the people that I have listened to do, you know, share, share your story, share your message. Um, and, uh, yeah, you know, if, if we're not being censored, we're just, uh, you know, vibing out, vibing high, healing, enjoying each other's company. And eventually, maybe we'll see each other in person. Uh, when I get, when I'm able to, like, you know, when when I'm able to be able to get my in the situation where I'll be able to meet people. Um, but if you don't stay out in San Antonio, I don't know when I'm coming out to some of these other locations. You know what I'm saying? Uh, but um, ooh, that was close. And just teach, you know, because I, I want to be, I, I want to be a coach, like straight up. That's why I just want to, like, and I was able to be a coach. I got to coach, like, through ages three through 14, eight, three through 15. And I just want, I want to be, a, I want to be a coach. I was able to do that. I was able to coach for a like, youth organization. And I, I just feel, I just want, that's what I want to do with my life, and just be a coach. Like, I don't want to do anything else, like, really. <laughs> and so, uh, um, and I, 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 I don't mind coaching basketball or football, either more. I think I'll be, I, I know I'll be pretty badass basketball coach. Like, I already know. That's what I'm kind of like, kind of moving towards. Like, man, I should just go ahead and fuck around and be a basketball coach. And, um, and, but soccer is also something that I would like to do as well. Um, but, yeah, I don't, like, I don't really want to do anything too much, too much, uh, not trying to get a, get a PhD, not trying to get a master's, not trying to get, you know, ain't nothing wrong with getting that shit. I got an associate's. I'm a business accounting specialist, but but I was only getting paid ten dollars to do taxes. Get the fuck out of here. So I, I'm a so I'm a quote unquote business accounting specialist. You know what I'm saying? So uh, shit, I need to. Uh, and then it's like you gotta go after you go to school. You gotta go apply for these jobs. What? I should already get in. Oh, you don't have the experience. You don't have. Well, fuck you. That's why, you know, I'm not saying, and that's one of the things, like, when, especially when the doctors were getting censored, they got PhDs, that's, they're a doctor and PhD and whatever they did, and they're still getting censored, so it's like, fuck, what the fuck is going to school for, you know, 40, you know, or 30 years to getting a PhD to be muted when you're needed, and so it's like, damn, it just shows us, like, you know, our education system. Listen, if you don't follow their plan, if you're not a good sheeple and, and regurgitate the things that they need you to say in the way they want you to, you're going to get censored. Your, your student loans, bitch, you pay that off, and, and they don't give a fuck about you. Like, you're just another number. And that's why I'm like, you know, I don't really want to be too much of this world, you know. I'd rather just even look at me as a coach, you know. But I need a flying high, you know powerful spirit in a body and I'm an individual um and I'm enjoying you know my life you know what I'm saying? uh yeah but uh yeah that's what we all should be doing just enjoying our life you just have to be yourself and know yourself so astrology has helped me know myself and um you know the people that I attract have helped me know myself and uh I see a lot of them. I see I see qualities in certain players, and certain football players. I'm like, yeah, I fuck with them. Like, I would want to meet them in person. Like, watching them play. Like, oh, I would want to meet you. Oh, I would I would want to meet you. Oh yeah, I like the way you talk. Oh, I, I would want to meet you. I like the way you play. Or and so that's why it's like this. If the athletes don't be unique or different, I really don't want to meet you, nigga. You seem the same. You look like the you the same. Like you ain't really that special. Uh, you just you're able to kick a football really good, but as an individual, you a little you a little bland. And I'm like, where are the you know what I'm so like, you're a little, uh, you're kind of a little boring. Uh, 
you know what I mean? So, uh, and it's unfortunate because some of the athletes are like, I fuck, well, how do I present myself? Just be yourself. You know what I'm saying? Just be yourself. But um, they got, I don't know what's in some of their contracts. They might be told you can't do this, you can't do this, and can't say that, you can't do that. They're just like, fuck, well, I have to be a box? Yeah, because you're in a match square. Mm -hmm. Yes. So the ones that I do see that kind of like, you know, kind of ed try to edge out, I'm like, okay, like Hope Solo. Like Hope Solo, I want to meet Hope Solo. Hope Solo, I want to meet you. I want to meet you, Hope Solo. I want to talk to you. She's a Leo as well, so shout out to all the Leos. I would like to meet Hope Solo. Um, I don't know who else I would like to meet. But I want to meet the rebels. <laughs> I want to meet the rebels. You know what I'm saying? I want to meet the, the 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 ones that were frowned upon. I don't want to meet the ones that were good boys and girls. Well, oh, you're a good one. Mm -hmm. I don't want to meet you. I want to meet the ones that were actually got like also. Um, I want to meet Mario Bellatelli. Mm. You know, there's a lot of players that I want to meet, like, just to pick their brains. Like, so, uh, you know what I'm saying? And also, you know, you want to talk to the great footballers. So how, you know, or just great. Also, like, when it comes to coaches, like, Pep seems pretty cool. Like, Pep, I think I would want to meet Pep. He seems pretty chill. I see a couple images of him dancing and shit. I'm like, but if Pep can get down, he can throw down. He, he looked like he having fun. He's a Capricorn as well, so I've, I've I've I got a lot of I know a lot of Capricorns, um, but um, I forget what zodiac sign Mario Bellatelli is. But yeah, of course, there's a lot of people that I want to meet. I want to meet the people that tune into me as well. People that that subscribe to me, I would like to meet people like y'all. People people that do that. Just want to meet the people that want. You want to meet the people that fuck with you. That's plain and simple. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> You want to meet the people that fuck with you and that enjoy you and that love you unconditionally. You know what I'm saying? That want to that want to see you do better. You want to meet those people. You want to be around those people. Like, um, and uh, you want to give them their flowers while they're alive. Because so many people wait till people are dead to give them their flowers. Like, I would want to meet Marta as well. I want to meet Marta and Formiga. I want to meet some of the legends, some of the older legends that played the women's game. I'm like, damn. So now, before football was popping, like even, even, even on TV, and how is it now, Marta? Tell us, you know, Marta is a living legend for me. Uh, all the older players are really living legends. So uh, give, I, that's why I got to give them their flowers. Like Carly Lloyd, you know, Car I would want to meet Carly Lloyd as well. She, she, she's fiery. She's a cancer as well. But yeah, there's just certain players I would want to meet. And some players I, mm, I'm, I'll pass. Just like some people, like, I don't want to meet you, neither. Okay, cool. That's cool. You know what I'm saying? It's the same thing. We, we got to be okay with that. You know what I'm saying? We got to be okay with, you know, people. people it's okay. But there's 7 billion of us, and there's going to be people that are going to rock with you, and there's going to be people that don't. It's okay. As long as you you know yourself, and you're healing yourself, and you you know you, you're going to be all right. And, um, you know, it's really good to see the young players as well. Hopefully they don't, and we get to see them grow. Hopefully they don't get like, you know, we don't really know who these players are, right? Based upon them having to be in the match square and they can't really be as individualistic as they would like. Cause some of the things they might be into be like, nah, this ain't gonna, this ain't gonna work in the match square. <laughs> and, uh, well, you never know. I wish more players talked about meditation because <clears throat> it's key. It's vital. It's vital. It's vital to to knowing thyself. And meditation in any form, just talk about it. Because the more of them talk about it, because I've always seen Caroline Graham Hansen post an image of it and her um, that I've right now been, but well, she's an Aquarius sun. Uh, so, she, so there's only a couple players that I get to see that. Okay, you probably you, you know you know at least you know about meditation. Like some people don't even know what is med what is what do you mean meditate? 
what what oh you like you all what you don't know what the meditate is like and it's you don't know what the meditate is oh my goodness they be so some of them be flunked out but i think most people know about it i mean come on now you can't tell me you don't know about meditation. You can't tell me you don't know about astrology. Get the fuck out of here. And if you don't, I don't know if I want to have a conversation with you. You just, you flunked out. <laughs> but it's not even just like that. Like, you know, at least you heard about it, right? You heard about astrology. Do you know your sun sign at least? Do you know, do you know your sun sign? Do you know that you're a Gemini? Or do you know that at least? Please? Please? Because if not, oh man, like what the fuck? But, but this is the realm of football. Something, something to like, oh, that doesn't go into the box of football. What the fuck are you talking about? Everything can go in anything, bitch. Get the fuck out of here. Some people are like this is this is not this is not football talk, bitch. Shut the fuck up. All right, y'all. Eighty-three minutes in, we're about to be finished. Gotham, we're gonna get take these three points, which is good. Chicago, unfortunately, they had some opportunities in the beginning of the first, but. Just, just not doing it. Damn, Gotham might score another. Ooh, was she fouled? No. weird maybe having some weird oh my god the banners that all these all the teams that be flying they like they're just like pressing that black lives matter so heavy that's all you see on the banners it's so political politically correct You 1v1? Oh, she was off sides. But, um, I'm, I'm gonna have to start reading y'all. I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna read some of y'all some, some chapters from this book. Tom Hanks. Like, like in the in this book, like I was, I'm only on page twenty right now. I only read, I'm only able to read a couple or listen to a couple pages because I be getting sleepy. <laughs> but, but um, yeah. If you know about George Orwell, it says um, it says if you read George Orwell's 1984. Uh, you may you might be starting to understand why he chose the year for the title of his book, title of his novel. And if you've seen the film based on the book, you'll be very familiar with the red and black theme. They are the colors of the Jesuits, and this same color scheme is used in other important and related films that is based in a 1984 setting. In 1984 setting, V for Vendetta, where the main character wears a guy. A guy Falky's mask, Falk Falkus mask, and guy Falky's 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 Falkus is a Jesuit. Jesuits are just uh, um, like the not just 
not like masons it's just like a group of spirits that like practice certain things you know so but they're all fucking it's just weak ass names what the fuck <laughs> Um, but let me see. Let me see something like that. Let me see, let me see if I can find something on uh Kobe. Cause Kobe, Kobe's death was yet another ritual, but his was shocking. It was so crazy because I was at a basketball game when I found that out. A guy, the one of the coaches on the other basketball teams, was like, "Did y'all hear Kobe died?" And I was like, "What?" They were like, "What?" He was like, "Yeah, he died in a in a in a in a, in a crash in a helicopter." And they're like, "What the fuck?" So we all hopped on the internet. Kobe Bryant, him and Anna's daughter, fucking crazy, yo. Let me see. Oh yeah, event two oh one. Okay, bet that's chapter four. Right. It says, okay, I'm reading, I'm about to see. This is event 201, the Jesuit order, Anthony Fauci and the Pope. It just says, there is no question, in quotations, it says, there is no question that there will be a challenge to the coming administration in the area of infectious diseases. Both chronic infectious diseases and the sense of already ongoing disease. And we certainly have a large burden of that. But also there will be a surprise outbreak. Anthony Fauci, Georgetown University, Washington, D.C., January 10th, 2011, um, 2017, uh, speaking on the pandemic pre 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 preparedness. And then um, Zach goes into, he said, it is fitting that Anthony Fauci was speaking at Georgetown University, the oldest Jesuit university. So a lot of these universities, um, they have certain um, indoctrinations that, uh, that they put out there. So a lot of them are uh, like Jesuit universities. And so that's how you find the, the link and correlation to like, oh, they're all, all, they're all studying the same knowledge to put to the masses because this is their world. So if you went to a college, you're gonna have their form that education system. And they ain't teaching you shit. The shit that we supposed to know, we're supposed to know this at three year old. We're supposed to know this stuff at three year old. But you go to school for 40, 60, 70 years and you still don't know the shit that you're supposed to know at a three year old. And so that's how you know the world we lived in is flunked out, niggas is lost. But luckily there's people like Zach there's people like me, there's other people like you that are not stupid and we're on the internet and educating motherfuckers. Um, and so a three-year-old can understand. So we have to start talking about, like them like they're babies because that's what they are. And, uh, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But, uh, um, it's fitting that Anthony Fauci was speaking at Georgetown University, the oldest Jesuit university in the United States. When he revealed the planned conspiracy to force a pandemic down our throats and in a speech I highly encourage you to listen to. You, you'll notice this remarks came 10 days before the Jesuit educated Donald Trump, who attended a Fordham, Fordham University, became the 45th president. Of course, it was Trump coming to administration that Fauci was referring in a quote above. And Anthony Fauci himself is a Jesuit educated man having uh, attended Holy Cross. When you pair these details with 
with the fact that the military war games dating back to 1995 in Rome began in Wuhan, China, in Wuhan, China, October 18, 2019. The same, the same day, event 201 took place. The, uh, in quotation, in uh, parentheses, you got the coronavirus outbreak simulation. And when you understand that the number 201 represents the Jesuits who operate and who operate on behalf of Rome, the odds all the odds of all of this begin, being coincidence are next to impossible. And at the same time, these same facts reveal the responsible party responsible party for the conspiracy that the coronavirus pandemic. They also reveal the theater of the debacle such as why Donald Trump blamed Anthony Fauci for the poor coronavirus response by the federal government on July 11, 2020, the two, 201st day of Anthony Fauci's age, and began and again on July 19th, the 20th, the 201st day of 2020. To better understand the relevance of the number 201, the Jesuit order, we must rewind the hands of time on July 21st, 1773, when Pope Clement, the, I don't know what number that is, X1V, he might be 16th, the leader of the Catholic Church, suppressed the Jesuits. Before we get to the meaning of the number 201, we must take, before we get to the meaning of the number 201, just take a moment to think. The Jesuits were bad. They were stopped by the institution they operated on behalf of because simply put, simply put, Pope Clement could no longer tolerate the circulating rumors of the Jesuit crime, corruption, conspiracy. So that's just some of this book that's in here. Like you know what I'm saying? This book it's gonna go it's gonna go deep. <laughs> and so like the fact that um, these numbers these numbers that they use are being played out in our everyday life. Um, Numbers of oh shit, there's a red card. Oh, oh, Chicago down to 10 players. It's all right, it's all right. The game's over, you are losing, anyways. But it's okay, let's go ahead, you know, run off the pitch, sister. It sucks though, she's gonna miss the next match. But, um, you know, keep your head up, your head up high. But, um, but yeah, these I recommend y'all follow Zach, um, on YouTube. He's on YouTube, his Jamatra News Effect, Josh Jamatra Effect News, and so, um. He'd be breaking it down so simple, but the book is going to really help me tie a lot more things into um, to the sports as well when I start doing more my gematria, also the spirituality behind it, because, um, uh, I, I, you know, it's going to be very interesting just to see how, how, how I find things. It's got, I'm just super excited, you know what I'm saying? Some of this shit, I'm like, I ain't never, he's really, he done all the fucking research, and all I got to do is sit down and just read the book, and, um, yeah, so it's it, the book was um, 20, 24 bucks, um, but I have it. Um, oh my phone! But it when I went to school, they, they the, the the librarians came to school and it was like biblioteca. I don't know if you'll have that where you're at, but they had his book on the bibliotheque, and you can actually check it out for free, and um, you could read it for like borrow it for thirty days. Ooh, Chicago got a go. Nice. Well, yeah, you could actually check it out and read it. And like I said, there's a chick that I listen to online. She's reading the book. But, um, uh, you know, there are good books out there from people that are truth seekers. That are, you know, that want, that want the masses to know the truth of how we're being mocked every single day based upon this, the medias that they put out there um, to get us in our feelings and shit like that. So, um. There's a lot of us out here, Sam, and uh, the truth is here, and it will continue to be here. You just gotta have the eyes to, the eyes to see and the ears to hear. You know what I'm saying? Or the eyes to hear and the ears to see. You know what I'm saying? But that's the final, y'all. It's two one. Gotham got the three points. Um, goals from Purse and um. I don't even remember who got the first one, uh, to be honest. But, yeah, Gotham got the, the, the three points. Congratulations to them. Um, Yeah, so good job, good job. I'm going to go ahead and end the live here. Uh, thank you for tuning in to another Esoteric Football Commentary with your girl, Nita Fly High, and I'll see you on the next one. I'll see you on the next one, all right? This is...